Hey guys, today I am going to talk about should you invest in this product, Double Masters? And the answer is no. And now I'm going to explain to you why the answer is no. It should be pretty obvious. But Magic Cards, I know a lot of you are, I mean, from the comments, it seems like you're very new to MTG Finance. And so I'll go over the very basics of selling boxes. Um, if you've never sold a box before, uh, try try selling a box. It doesn't matter what the box is, just try selling the box. Um, you're going to find out that boxes especially are very scammable, uh, meaning that when if you sold a sealed box to someone, they could open the product up, um, take all the rares and mythics, do a refund charge back on you, and you would be out the money, of course. Now, you could also do the reverse, right? You could send them a open product. Uh, I think Power9 Quest bought some modern Horizons from Amazon, and that, that happened to him. And the reason that you can get the refund is because that does happen. It's not unheard of for a seller to sell you packs that have been already opened or searched in some way, especially in Pokemon, when you can weigh the packs. Pretty obvious why that is the case. So let's talk um, about money um, and the lack of it in the U.S. economy. So I, I live in the U.S. I own a small business here in uh, Houston. Money is not ample right now. So once the extra $600 of unemployment ends a week, so if you are unemployed, you get $600 from the federal government a week, and then you get unemployment. Here in Texas, it would be about $400 a week. Um, so you would get $1,000 to do nothing. So if you've been sitting at home during the entire COVID, maybe for, uh, what was COVID, March? March, April, June, July, and we're rolling into August. So if you've been sitting at home for five, four or five months, you've been receiving probably more money, unless you make more than $52,000, uh, most fast food workers, most retail workers don't make that money uh, amount of money. Um, the government has been, you know, from stimulus to PPP programs, um, they've been funneling money into the economy, which has then increased the price of Magic the Gathering cards. So that's the direct result. As soon as the first stimulus check hit, you saw Magic cards on a whole go up in price. Now the question has to be asked, is this a good set? And can this set stand the test of time? And I'm gonna go ahead and say it cannot because it's, I guarantee you in a few years, we have something called triple masters and it will literally be the same reprints on double masters, but you'll just get an extra rare or mythic because that's what double masters is. Double Masters is a reprint of Mystery Booster Packs, except instead of, you know, it's instead of getting the option of maybe getting two rares and mythics, you are guaranteed two rares and mythics, and there's foily cards and so on and so forth. So from a investment standpoint of single cards not on the reserve list, uh, do not do. It is a no-go from here on out. So again, no-go. And the reason should be pretty obvious. I mean, we will probably get a master set every year from now on. And if the standard is double master, you can't really go back to regular masters, right? Everyone's already on double. So you either continue double masters or you start triple masters, which is marketing 101. Like, let's say we had double masters. And next year, we just had regular masters. That would not fly because people are used to double masters. Again, you cannot go back. So you can't have double masters and then go back to regular masters. You can either go to double master, keep double masters up or go to triple masters. That's the way it is. I mean, there's no other way to really uh, say it um, except um, yeah, there's no other way to say this. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't think anyone argues with this point um, because it's like any type of business. 
um, once a customer is used to a certain deal, you can't really go back on that deal because that would make no sense. You would, you got to at least keep up the deal, if not a better deal. So one of the um, things about MTG Finance that's not really talked about is how much do you buy something at determines how much you can sell it at to make a profit if you are into that. Um, if you're buying these cards or these boxes, you need to buy it at the cheapest price available from the most reliable source that you trust. And any savings and money and cost is going to long-term really help you in the margins. So who has the cheapest prices? And even when I posted about this, like none of you understood that 4X8999 means that you buy four of them at 8999. You just assume that you're getting four of them at four of them for 8999. Right now the economy is not great. Um uh it is not great. People I think 50 million people in the US are un, have applied for unemployment. And the reason that unemployment is so popular right now should be pretty obvious because the government is giving you 600 extra dollars. So people on Social Security live on a thousand and eighty-five dollars a month. I know this figure because I volunteer a lot. Um, people who are on unemployment benefits gets that same amount a week. So let me repeat this again: People who are unemployed get a thousand plus dollars a week, six hundred federal, four hundred um, from the state. So if you got fired from Chick-fil-A or McDonald's, that's what you would be getting this entire time of COVID. And then people who are on Social Security, because they they're not unemployed, of course, they are retired, get $1,085 a month. So if you're asking what is kind of keeping the price of Magic Cards afloat, given the fact that you cannot use these physical cards because your local game store is not open and are going to bankrupt soon, it's the collectible market. This is not the only collectibles market. I think um, a LeBron James rookie card sold for 200000 which is a lot. That's a lot. I collect sports cards, and they're selling for way above what they're supposed to be. Um, and when you talk about Pokemon cards, oh, my goodness. Pokemon cards have gone up like 100% almost every single month. And, again, I have a Pokemon store, so I know, and I have – um, benefited, if you will, because a lot of the product that couldn't sell is now moving like hotcakes, like Burning Shadows and Pokemon. I couldn't sell that to save my life. Now, because of the hyper rare Charizard and the increase in its price, uh, I, I don't even want to sell it anymore. It's $200 a box. Uh, it went from $80 a box or 70 when I bought it, 70, 78. To 200, like overnight, I was like, oh, huh, that's weird. <laughs> so it's not only magic cards that are going up, it's every collectible item from sports cards to Pokemon cards to Yu Gi Oh cards. They have Yu Gi Oh card now has chase rares. I don't know if you know this, but they have uh, chase rares, which are very expensive and they look great. They look great, um, but I don't know if they're worth the money that you would have to buy, put into them. Even Weiss, which is like a dying card game, is doing well. Um, board games are doing well. We're selling a bunch of board games. Like, you have to know what happens when you pump ridiculous amounts of money into an economy. Like, you're pumping trillions with a T into an economy. Unemployment, let's say 50 pe million people are unemployed and they all receive an extra $600 and uh, bonuses or uh, in federal bonus and that's not including state so six hundred dollars times 50 million people is what is this number we have million that's million that's built 30 is it 30 trillion is that no 30 billion no it's 30 trillion a week 
holy blank me, it's $30 trillion of extra money being pumped in that normally would not be pumped into the economy from the government a week. From the, just, just the unemployed people. And then you talk about small businesses, big businesses, and, and that's how, how much was the stimulus package the first round? That can't be right, package. U.S. Uh, value. Oh, we're going to get a second uh, check for $1,200 per American, earning up to $7,500. Uh, so that's good. Um, $2.2 trillion U.S. stimulus package. Oh, another free trillion stimulus package on the line. But what was the total amount? That was like the extra little bonus amount. Um, hmm. Regardless, it looks like we're getting a uh, another twelve hundred dollar payment from the government. So, hey, just in time to buy double masters. Hi guys.